and welcome to my newest process video. Um, this time I'm doing a process video for my pocket pages um, well layout. Um, it's a combined uh, pocket pages and scrap album what I'm, I'm actually doing. It's my holiday um, album. If you've maybe seen my previous video um, uh, you, you would know that I'm actually working on an 8.5 by 11 album and I'm combining the well the scrap layouts with the pocket pages um, it's not uh, project life because I'm not actually doing project life which is uh, which is a bit different I, I think it's uh, it's more to um, register or well uh, memory keep so to say um, your day-to-day uh, -day things and every week and that's not what I'm doing I'm actually just um, well registering my um, well the, the biggest things that I'm doing actually actually the, the pictures that I take that's what I'm well that's what I'm scrapping um, that's why I don't call it pocket project life I, I tend to say project life a lot but it's not project life uh, to be honest, it's more pocket pages. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I always struggle with this uh, uh, sheet on the left side, the, the layout, because it has one big uh, piece of paper, which is uh, always a little, of a little bit of a hassle to find out um, what the size is exactly. And because those sizes are usually not the normal size that we have here in the Netherlands, because um, we have an A4, which is different than the 8.5 by 11, obviously. Um, so it's always a little bit of a struggle, but um, I uh, I end up doing well, I think. <laughs> um, as you can see, I try to use most of my, uh, probably my calmest pieces of paper, because the pictures, it's a pretty photo-heavy layout. So I decided to use some of the more calm paper papers from the scrapbook, uh, from the kit, from the scrap kit. Um, this is actually the Lotte kit, by the way. <laughs> and um, it's the newest uh, scrap kit by Paper Roses, which is a Dutch um, scrap kit club. Um, we're based in the Netherlands and, well, um, it's, um, it's probably one of the I believe it's we that they we or they are the newest or the the only one in the Netherlands maybe even so um, as you can see I was I just cut the the pink piece of paper apart because it didn't fit completely over the the width of the piece of paper and I decided that um, I wanted to put it there and I it needed to be on the complete um, piece of paper so I cut it apart and obviously you don't. Uh, see the gap anymore because of the picture and I grabbed some Nouveau um, which are not in the kit but I have uh, I got them from my stash actually and I was struggling with the pink one I don't know why it's it looked like it's a little bit dried out which probably isn't possible because it's the um, it's probably it's I think it's newer than the black and the white one so I don't know why maybe does anybody else have that problem Please let me know in the comments below because I'd really like to know if this is just my problem or if it's um, somebody else's problem as well. Uh, as you can see, it was a really sunny day because I'm still wearing my sunglasses on my head. But um, eventually I, uh, I managed to get a few uh, drops on the paper or on the picture or on the picture in the paper. Um, and I put it aside. Um, I usually let it dry for probably overnight. Um, it probably dries between two and four hours, I think. I'm not sure. Depends probably on where you live. If uh, if you uh, live in a very warm country or warm area, it dries quicker, I guess. Um, the Netherlands is a, a very humid country, and um, we have a, a humid atmosphere, so it's usually very. Um, it takes a bit longer, I, I think, and uh, I'm also not sure about, that's why I leave it overnight, just to make sure that not just the top is dry, but also the, the inside. So I just put them aside for, uh, for the night, and then the next day I'll just put them in the, in the cover. Um, this is a, a small filler card, actually, that's what I made. It um, doesn't do 
well, it's not very special, but I just decided that it was one of uh, my favorite um, days. Probably it was a really <laughs> it was a really funny story with one of the pictures. I'll tell you in a minute. And I first I wanted to put some nouveau drops, but I decided that I'm gonna use the Heidi uh, Swap Color Shine. And um, I always mess up. I always say Heidi Shine, which is probably because of Adele Toomey. If you know her, then you <laughs> also know the uh, Heidi Shine song, um, which we always all sing together. I think. Thank you, Adele, for. <laughs> Giving us so much fun while shaking the bottle of the Heidi Swap color shine. Um, this yeah, this photo was really funny. The the lady with the green face. It was somewhere I believe it was in Bern, which is in Switzerland, and um, she looks like a witch kinda, but she's not because she was like a cleaning lady. And my son, which you can see in the other picture where he puts a really strange face, um, he was so scared of her. He was he was having nightmares. He couldn't sleep at night. He I, I don't know why. Probably because of her green face. He was really he was really worried that she's a witch or something. I don't know. But the poor thing, he had nightmares. Uh, he was three, I think. Yeah, he was three. So. Um, I, of course, when I show him now, and he's eight now, he just laughs at me. <laughs> he doesn't believe me that <laughs> when I tell him he was really scared of this um, cleaning lady. <laughs> but she was doing some kind of act, and she was blowing bubbles and stuff, so it was really fun. But um, And we thought he would like it as well, because it's bubbles, you know. Like, who doesn't like bubbles? But I guess he... Uh, just uh, the whole face uh, thing, he blew him off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm cutting a, a butterfly here from the um, one of the 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock or paper uh, and um, it has a lot of butterflies on that paper so you can do a whole layout with butterflies if you'd like um, well I didn't I just use them as an accent and I might um, use it as uh, maybe just a stroke or just a part just a piece of paper on layout. I'd never use it completely because it would be too much too busy for me. Um, and I use a punch to make this label. It's actually a washi uh, punch from Stampin' Up! And um, I use it a lot in my uh, pocket pages. It's really a nice, uh, a nice punch. So uh, this is actually the last, uh, this last step from the double spread. I forgot that I wanted to uh, corner the or round on the co round off the corners. Is that how you say it? Um, and that's what I was doing just now, just going around the nouveau. And this is the end result. Um, as you can see, it's not very heavily embellished. I try to keep it as calm as possible. Um, but I did like the color combination, the black and the pink and the yellow and a little bit of turquoise just to complete it. Uh, you can see some pictures right now and um, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you do please give me a thumbs up and uh, if you um, would like to uh, subscribe to my channel then you can just see every process video that I'm making. Um, thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!